This is Outdoors Delmarva, presented by Gateway Subaru. Higher standards. Well, you know, with just about every passing hunting season comes some opportunity for research. And the same goes for Delaware's recent shotgun season. So that's why I'm here today at Denrex Woodland Beach Wildlife Field Office in Kent County to catch up with some biologists and other volunteers who are collecting some very important samples. Now, I will warn you, if you're kind of squeamish about this type of thing, you might want to take these next few seconds to leave the room or at least look away. Because while what they're doing here is very important, it's certainly not the most glamorous of tasks. From the side, you'd never know what this pickup truck might hold. When you move to the back for a closer look, you're at least slightly shocked. Or you're a deer biologist. Through the generosity of hunters statewide, these hundreds of white-tailed deer heads were donated to science. We're here today collecting chronic wasting disease samples. CWD is a uh, neurological disease. It's a brain disease that affects cervids. Um, obviously, white-tailed deer are the only species we have here in Delaware. Uh, but it is a brain disease. Um, animals that contract CWD die. It's 100% fatal. As the name suggests, wasting disease, these animals basically deteriorate, uh, become really skinny, really sluggish, drooling, droopy ears, just, you know, a very unhealthy, sickly, poor animal, which is why we're concerned about it and trying to keep it out of Delaware. So Dissection of each specimen is that. careful and specific and the parts removed include the brain stem that's called the obex and lymph nodes which in an infected deer would hold clues pointing to cwd each part is preserved in a chemical solution numbered and then sent off to laboratories for examination while the first state hasn't yet detected its first case of cwd in whitetails neighboring states maryland and just recently pennsylvania have. Pennsylvania last month found CWD over in York County, which is near Gettysburg. Uh, so that's the closest here to our state. Both that state and Delaware have put action plans into place. In South Central PA, which actually borders Maryland, hunters who harvest deer in a designated 600 square mile area must check them in and leave behind nearly everything but meat and antlers. Mirroring that effort, Delaware has put its own regulations into place for residents who might hunt deer north of the border and then return home. As hunters from Delaware, one thing we'd like to point out is that it's illegal to bring high-risk parts back to Delaware from areas with CWD. So what that means are the brain, the spinal cord, and all that stuff. If you go hunt in York County or Adams County, Pennsylvania, and you harvest a deer up there, you can only bring the boned out meat back to Delaware in a clean skull cap. Everything else of that animal, the bones and brain and all that stuff have to stay up there in Pennsylvania. And this is our effort to try and keep CWD out of our state. Now, of course, it'll take weeks to months to get back all of the CWD test results from the samples that were collected here at Woodland Beach today. In the meantime, Denrec encourages all hunters out there and anyone who views a lot of wildlife to report any deer that could be showing signs of chronic wasting disease. To learn more about it, you'll find a link on the Outdoors Del Marva Facebook page.